think we're on now, Joseph. About to start the Pillow Bio Academy seventh grade game. Pillow with the ball first. Joey, that's Pillow seventh grade team looks pretty big, don't they? They got some good size to them up front in the trenches. You got big number 77. I don't know his height and weight, but I can tell you this. He's a big man. We don't have the roster for Pillow, but bear with us on the bio and identifying these young young men. We're just not as familiar with these seventh graders. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we do. He's hit the outside. He breaks it back across the middle. What a big run. He rumbles. He fumbles. He bumbles. 20 yards down the field into Bio Academy territory. Pretty good run. Number 21 for Pillow. For the Pillow Mustangs. Seventh grade action for you live. I see Ford Murphy out there. Kale Halford. Luke Bailey. We'll identify some more of the bio players as this game rolls on. I think we got two. There's a good tackle. Very good tackle by number 52 for the Bio Academy Colts. Craw Crawford last year. You know, Joe, we saw him. He he played uh, a few plays in the junior high game last week, the JV game. I tell you, Crawford last year is one of the guys you need to look at because over in Hartfield, he had a superb game. And starting off tonight, he made Makes a big tackle for the Bio Academy Colts. Number 52. Second and 10 for Phillips. There's a, a bootleg, fake bootleg. And a bomb There's is open. Defender. Oh, the defender was there. Number 40 was there, ready for the pickoff. I thought Shepard Melton almost had it. Shepard. Oh, Shepard Melton, number 40, the big 4 0 for the Bio Academy coach, was in position, Todd, but he just came up short on the intersection. Good job by Shepard of uh, sticking with his the assignment. Hello, Mustang, a roster. And as we mentioned earlier, number 77 was Hank Staples. Big fire plug in the middle of that pill offensive line. Bowel Third and ten. Need to stop the Pillow Mustangs here. They're running and off to the right. And they set. got another big hole. He's got a lane. He's going to run for days through that lane. He's at the 30 and inside the 30, and he is still running number 21. Wyatt Moses. He's an eighth grader. Oh, wide, oh, wide, Earth. Wide, Earth. Moses is coming around that corner, and he busted down to the 25 yard line. Big run at a much needed time. Third down and long, and he got enough for the first down. That's going to be first down and 10 for the Pillow Mustangs. Tied the Colts. Bowed up right there. Thought they were going to come up with a stop, but they gave up the big run and put them put themselves up against the wall. Here comes another run. Same play. He takes the outside. 22. He may score. He's tight roping the sideline. That's Zach Campbell. Knocked out of the bounds at the one-yard line. So they, they kind of identified this, this run to the right against Bio's defense. Well, they're making no bones about it. They're running up in a two tight end set, two wide receivers out, and then just an eye backfield. And they're just taking it to the Colts at this point. Started off at the 35-yard line. First and 10 at Bio's, we'll call it five-yard line. Trying to finish a 65-yard drive. Pretty good defense there by the Colts. He's going to bring up second down. He's going to be at the four-yard line. Make that the four-yard line. You can line. see on your screen, Joey, the, we got about seven reserves on the sideline, so it's not a – it's about 18 seventh graders, and that's about right. I mean, you, you know, you – you're going you're gonna to have a lot of young men playing a lot of ball both ways. Look at big number 77 right tackle for Pillow. That's Staples, Hank Staples. Here we go. High formation right on the goal line. He comes up and he gets a handoff. He will dive into the end zone. Touchdown, Pillow Mustangs. They took an early lead, Todd, here with 15 minutes left. In the half. It's going to be six to nothing, and they're going to attempt a two point conversion. 
as you mentioned earlier, that is a big solid line across there. You got number 70, number 73, number 35. Another hole blasted, two point conversion, good. No, I, I, 73, Zach Russell blows a hole open for the Pella Mustangs. I think Pella is playing a little bit of a blend of seventh and eighth graders. You know, frankly, I think by when we went over there last year, we may have done that. So um, it, it may have to do with the numbers they have, and they may not have the numbers to play a pure seventh grade team. So Number 68, Todd, I was looking out at Big Brett Anderson, number 68 for the Pella Mustangs on that offensive line. And then right over on the opposite side is Finn Thomas. We got number 40, Shepard Melton. Shepard Melton out the quarterback in for the Biochemical. Hankins at tailback, he gets the ball. He's trying to make a run. He's a pretty shifty runner, number 11. He's going to take a loss on the play. That is the grandson of one Jim Allen. Jim Allen, an all-sport coach, well-respected throughout the Delta with all his coaching skills. That is his grandson, number 11, Hankins. How you knew that? I have no clue, Joey, but... Good research. High formation for the Bio Academy Colts. One receiver out wide left. Looks like a running play. Here he comes. It's a toss and a slip, and down he goes. That play, that play never looked right. That um, some sort of somebody may have missed an assignment. Um, Quarterback went to pitch, and it was a direct handoff. Yeah. Well, just under 13 minutes ago in this first half, which I believe will be a running clock half. If you're just joining us, it's Todd Jeffries, Joey Mallet live at the Bayou Academy Sports Complex, where the Pillow Mustangs are taking on your beloved Bayou Academy Colts. Pillow struck first, up eight to nothing. Bayou Academy has the There's ball. A it's a quick on toss. Kind of a reverse. He's hit and hit hard. Brought down is Kel Hallford. Kel Hallford. Good, strong running there by Kel Hallford, number 10. Tries to make the turn, unable to. Too many defenders on him tied. They had him by the cleat, had him by the waist, and had him by the shoulder pads. Hard to move with that kind of load on your back. Bio Academy's going to punt the ball. And it, again, at this level, it's just a, a mark off on the yardage. When down the field it goes, it's going to back Pilla Mustangs up into their own territory. Jeff Borganelli manning the uh, the video. Tire, Jeff is tireless with his efforts up here, Joey. Does all the little things to make these We appreciate those efforts. Come on. We do appreciate those efforts. He, along with Edwin Kraft, have brought you a great broadcast. Pump it up, says the cheerleaders. Got to get that defense fired up, Todd. Just over 11 minutes ago. I guess we ago. don't have a list of the Battle Academy. No, we do. You just got to, it's, it's on this list. You just got to find them, the number. Well, there's a good tackle. Good hard. Tackle number, number 11, 11, Kingston Hanks, Hankins. Kingston Hankins. He comes up and he lays the leather. Great hit, great play by the Bio Academy. These fans. And it is timely at that. They need a big play at that point. Second down and four. And that was made on that, you know, that side they've been running the ball to pretty consistently. Number 52, Crawford. Laster licking his chops. He's ready for some action in those trenches up front. You got to know there's a lot of blood, sweat, and tears in those trenches. They're throwing forearms. They're throwing elbows. They've got their ears pinned back, and here they come. Look for the big wide receiver out to the left. Another run up the middle, number 20. Good pickup. Good hit again by Hankins. He's all over the field tonight. That's his third tackle. 
He could wind up with a school record tonight. That great. Uh, they had about a six foot two wide receiver out wide left over our cornerback, which is number 41, Emory Prather. If you look out there, number one on Prather, just a big mismatch as far as size goes. Let's see if they Charlie take a shot Powers at that. There it is, right there. He's looking deep. He's, he's got him wide open. He's going to tuck, gonna tuck and, run. and run. Boom! A crack back block, and he is streaking down the sideline. He will not be caught. Touchdown. Hill of Mustangs. It was a bootleg. He faked it to the running back, ran around the left side, and number one was streaking wide open. He could have thrown it. He decided to tuck and run. Same result down the sideline for a touchdown. That's going to put the Bio Academy Colts down 14 to 0, pending the two-point conversion. Todd, it, it didn't look like the Bow Colts were ready for that play. No, like you said, quarterback could have thrown the ball, but he decided to run it and took it to the house. Straight up the gut, over the goal line, into the end zone. Bad news for the Bow Academy Colts. 16 unanswered points. Well, Todd, I think we'll get something going on the offense at this point. I see big number 66, Braxton yeah, Ray. Right now, we only coming into the game. Until I find that third one in track. That is the nephew, one Jeff Onganelli. The nephew? Track's gonna, track's gonna have to come up either. I mean, my opinion, they need to have Kurt. Number 10, Dale Hawford ready for action. Number 58, Cade Stanley ready for action. Alongside number 64, Ryder Hauser. Also in the game, number 13, uh, uh, Brennan Chisholm. Look out for old Brennan Chisholm. He's going to be trying to 58 K Stanley in there. The field. For Bio, Ryder Hauser, as Joey mentioned. Coach Will Reed counting his players to make sure he has 11 in play. Offensive play called. Quarterback under center, and here comes the snap. It's right up the gut. It's a dive play. It will only go for one yard as he is up in it. it through the air, lands on his back between the two and the nine. That was Peyton Rabble. We have seven he was minutes to go. In the air and on to his back with a loss of one on the play. And it seems like to me that. Pillow Mustangs are heavier on the front line than we are. It's going to be a battle in there all night long. Let's see what Coach Reed dials up for the seventh grade Bio Academy points. Number 18 is your quarterback, Luke Bailey. And at the running back position, Kingston. There he goes. He's got the ball. He is met. 73. And powered to the ground by an athletic play. Zach Russell. Oh, Zach Russell. People back home in Greenwood, Mississippi are cheering for their man, number 73, Jack Russell, as he plowed through the Bio Academy line. And down goes Kingston in the arms of number 73. Just under six minutes to go, the bio JV team, eighth and ninth graders have gone in the locker room to suit up. We're going to have the A game first, Joseph. I'll tell you what, that's going to be a good game. The Pillar Mustangs took on Jackson Academy last week and came up short. And the Bio Academy Colts took on number one, Hartfield of Jackson, in a slugfest. You two will meet tonight in Cleveland at the Bio Academy field. Be ready for that. It's a backwards it's pass. That's a fumble. Good job by the. The pass was Aaron Kell Hawford did not have a chance. The ball hits him, but the ball was behind the line of scrimmage, fell to the ground, incomplete pass, bringing up fourth down and a 
a country mile. Here comes the punt. As I see Big Braxton Ray hustling off the football field, and on comes the punting team. And the punt's away, and it's going to be a good one. It's going to back those Pillow Mustangs way up, back on their side of the territory. I don't know what the yardage is on that, but that is going to be one heck of a kick. The Big Blue Wrecking Crew, the Bio Academy defense is back on the field. Number 55, Rudy Davidson, ready for action. Along with Hayes Pigwood. Number 25. All right, let's see if this defense for Bio can step it up. Kel Hawford playing linebacker. Oh, there's a good play. play. And on the ground, let me tell you something. Crawford Blaster. He came through like a raving bull. Crawford last. Give that man a round of applause. Crawford Laster just said, I'm not taking any more of this. I'm just going to get me ahead of steam. I'm going to blow the man up in front of me, and I'm going to put the running back on his backside, and that's exactly what he did. I would imagine we'll see Laster a good bit in the JVB game later tonight. Great job. A lot of quickness for a bigger man. i am tell you what. That was a whip blown whistle. Whistle blown. Let's see what the penalty is. Three minutes to go. If you're at home, you're watching the streaming on the internet. It's Todd Jeffries, Joey Mallet, bringing it to you live. If you just turned on the tube, we have a six, a 14 to nothing ball game. Keep your eye on number 52 on that front line. He has made some great plays this evening. That's Crawford Lasker, number 52. Next to Crawford is number 55. Rudy Davidson. Mr. Rudy Davidson, 10. It's a blitz. Here comes Hawford. Well, the fumble. I think Bio's got think it. Bio Academy may have recovered. I don't the know. No, the Pilla got it. Well, the zebra on the field calls it Pilla's way. I think if we take a carrot down to him, give him a carrot, we may could have got that on the other side going the other way. Here we go, just under two minutes to go here. Clock winding down. It'll be third and about 16 for Pilla. Great defensive stand. Bio Academy came out flat, but they have bowed up here. The big blue wrecking crew is taking no more of that. Down 14 to nothing. They're playing a bunch of eighth graders. Ryder Hauser on the right side, number 64. Watch for him on this play. Straight up eye back. Here he comes. He fakes it. He's looking down the middle. He fires it over the There's middle. It is Incomplete. almost caught in and out of the hands of number 25 for the Pilla Mustangs. He had it. Miller Calhoun drops the football, and that's going to be a turnover on downs for the Bio Academy Colts or rather the pillow will punt. Bio Academy will get it around their own 30-yard line, maybe a little up. Clock is ticking. Bio is not, he's going to have maybe time for one or two plays. Well, they've got to get it going. Coach Reed has called the play. The referee has set the ball in motion. 35 seconds left. Let's see what happens here. Down two scores. Now Academy Colts, they break out of the huddle. Look out wide to the left. 15 Number seconds 13, left. 15, Brennan Chisholm. It's a fumble, and the Pilla Mustangs 
Swarm in, number 64. Covered by Bo, that will do it Great. for the first half. Bio Academy, good heads up play. That was Jack Carter coming in for Pillar Mustangs, tried to get that ball, but was nothing doing. The quarterback for the Bio Academy Colts, number 18, Luke Bailey, swipes it away from him, and the whistle blows 14 to nothing halftime score. We're going to take a short break. We will be back.
right, we're back. Todd Jeffries here about to start this second half of the seventh grade game. Bio's playing seventh graders. I think Pillow's playing a mixture of seventh and eighth graders. But nonetheless, Bio has the ball down 14 to nothing. And off of the middle, that's a fumble. I, I think Pill has recovered. No, they haven't. Good job by Bio falling on that one. I think based on kind of the, the timeline we're proceeding under right now, the JV A game may start a little before seven, but probably not any earlier than that. Nothing doing up the middle on the inside handoff. Hankins on the carry. All right, second and 11, excuse me, third and 11. in the backfield. Bio will likely punt here. Luke Bailey on the Looks like Coach Reed is going to punt. Turn about fair play. <laughs> 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 We're gonna get them this We're gonna get them in the All right, pillow with the ball. Seventeen fifteen to go in this second running half. We might need to. Bella's going to run a reverse, number nine with the ball. And he eludes the defender, Lee Brock, with the ball. Good little run. First and ten for Pillow Academy. Kind of a misdirection play running to the left now. And there's some open room for number 10, Jackson Dunn, and he's finally taken down about the 13-yard line. Oh, yeah. 
number 66, Braxton Ray, comes off the field for the Colts. Run to the right side by number 21, Wyatt Moses. We got a man, a couple of blockers down, but they're up. Just under about 14 and a half minutes to go. 14 to nothing, Pillow Academy. off to the right side. He's got some room and he's going to score. Touchdown, Pillow Academy. Yeah, so after this game, we'll have the JBA game, which will be a four-quarter game, and then we'll have the JBB game. Bow with the ball back. Twelve minutes and forty seconds to go in the half. The handoff, the running room for number 11. Good run by Kingston Hanks, Hankins. First down for Bio. Good run by Hankins. Man in motion for Bio. Another run to Hankins. Hankins showing some moves out there with a nice five yard run. Good run up the middle. Second and five for Bio Academy. Bobble. Oh, that's a rough pitch, but a good, good bounce. Got away with one there. 
And third and seven. Ten minutes and 20 seconds to go in the half. Oh, a little fumbled snap. Coach Reed may have a decision to make. Fourth down, we're in their territory. I would imagine Coach Reed's going to dial something up and see if we can get a first down. Fourth down and eight, nine minutes to go. Shotgun, hands off, there's a little reverse. And, he, and he's got some room, he's got enough for a first down. Good job, good run. Kale Halford, good job by Coach Reed dialing up that play on fourth down. A little bit of a misdirection. Keeps the chains moving. First and ten, Bio Academy. Eight minutes to go. And off, there's a little trouble with the snap. I think we got a fumble. It's going to be Pillow's ball. Again, for this Bio seventh grade team, it's just good experience getting out here. You're playing a bigger team with some seventh and eighth graders. Um, so I think they're, you know, they're learning something on every play. And the bio JV team is coming out of the locker room. And they will begin warm-ups in about seven minutes. And off right side, number 20. Strong run for about 15 yards. First down Pillow Academy under six minutes to go. Run up the middle. Pretty good tackle by number 11. Kingston Hankins getting low on that bigger ball carrier. Yeah. 
second down, and we'll call it four for Pillow Academy. Yeah. Five minutes and 20 seconds to go. It's a pitch to the right. Runner cuts back up the middle. May have a hold on Pillow. And that's what it is. So that run will come back. When those ball carriers start outside and then cut it up the middle, their their linemen are sometimes caught off guard, and that's when you can often see holding called. The rest of Pillars JV team is coming out on their sidelines. The Bio JV team is taking a knee in the home end zone. Think both teams are pretty geared up for this A game that's going to start here in probably 20 minutes or so. There's a pitch left. Number 20's got a lot of room. And they're trying to corral him. There's number four, just can't quite get him, and he scores. Good run, McCraw Porter. Just over three minutes left in this running half. And up off the middle, and he scores. That will make it 29 or 30 to nothing. And 25 seconds to go. By the seventh grade, had a tough one tonight. Coach Reed calling a player from the sidelines. It's a handoff to the left, and Hankins with the ball. He's corralled by a gaggle of Mustangs. <laughs> Hank, they're helping Hankins up. He's played hard tonight. Made some good runs, made some good tackles on defense. Just over a minute to go. Clock continues to tick. And it's going to be second down for Bo. Another run up the middle, the ball's out. 
25 seconds to go. Not sure if they've blown that ball dead or, or what, but we'll see if Bayou gets another playoff. The rest of the JV coaches, Coach McClendon, Coach Rodney Martin, McLeod Norwood are on the sidelines now. And that'll do it for the seventh grade game. Uh, we'll have warm-ups, and we'll be back with y'all 15, 20 minutes to start this J JVA game. So we'll, we'll be back in a few minutes. No.
He's got a little edge. Bo Lucas powers forward over Goss, number 12. Goss from Greenwood tries to make the stop, but Bo Lucas just barrels over him, and he's real, real close to that first down. Maybe an inch. They may call it a first. Let's see what the Zebras have to say about this one. And indeed, first down, Bo Lucas. Tied. What a run. Yeah, good job, good start. Um, you know, Lucas didn't get much going offensively uh, last week, yeah. so it's good to get him involved early. Uh, we're primarily going to run the ball with Aiden Borganelli, and huh. we're going to mix it up from okay. there. Okay. I understand we had no sound, but we are on now. We have no sound. Y'all missed some wonderful commentary, but... Um, All right, well, let me tell you where you're at. We're at the Big Blue Wrecking Crew of Bow Academy's home field. Mitchell Jones is a quarterback. He fakes it to... Borganelli. He fakes it to Bo Linkus, and Borganelli powers over for about an eight-yard gain. The first play of the game was Bo Linkus on the end of the round. He gained nine, or make it ten for the first down. This is a big game. You have a two-time defending district champions in the Big Blue Wrecking Crew of Bow Academy. Pill Academy is well aware of that, Todd, and they've come up here with a vengeance. They aim on stopping the Blue Wrecking Big, big, big Blue Wrecking Crew and taking over that district championship themselves. We got three wide out, three out right. Mitchell Jones is going to keep her right up the middle, and Mitchell Jones make them pay. He falls for about three, maybe three and a half yards. Good keeper, good play. They look real smooth on offense this week, Todd. Unlike last week, we had a little jitters in the first couple of drives, but right now you're seeing some crisp handoffs, well-called play calling by the coaches and the staff on the sideline. Got to give a lot of credit to that big blue wrecking crew as they're taking it to the Pillar Mustangs often and early. Six minutes and ten seconds to go in the first. Bio kind of starting this game with some, some ball control. Let's take a look at this. Landon Williams out wide to the right. William Jeffries out wide to the left. There's another. They pop it off to Bo Linkus. He's upended. He does a complete somersault. He will go for about a yard, yard and a half. Well, no, they're going to say his knee went down, so he's back to the line of scrimmage. No gain. Third down and six. Third down. Todd, that was a pretty exciting run. He missed a little block over there. Earlier as we ran it to this side of the field, he got big yardage. They shut that off. Good defensive play for the Pillar Mustangs on that one. Brandon Crocker in. Looks like we're just kind of running a wide receiver rotation. They're, they're bringing in the plays. Landon Williams, Brandon Crocker, William Jeffries, and Kelly. Four receivers, spread offense. The lone back in the backfield is Aiden Morganelli. He's looking deep. Good catch by Bo Lincas. He spins Lincoln off. The tackle. Yeah. And, and he lowers the boom. The first down. Bo Lincoln's lowered his shoulder. He rolled over across the field. Mitchell Jones threw a bullet right between the one on Bo Lincoln's good chest. Throw, good catch. Lincoln's had to break that tackle to get the first down, and he did that and got more. As Todd Jeffries, my cohort here tonight, said, Bo lowered the boom with that shoulder and powered forward for an extra five yards. First down by you. Four minutes and 40 seconds to go. Ball on the pillow 35-yard line. Jones Check out this play call, Todd. We're still in a spread formation. They're going to let Mitchell Jones handle that ball. Bo Lankus again. Keep feeding the ball. Good run by Bo Lankus. Good four or five-yard gain. Todd, you keep plugging away on those first down gains like that. Bio Academy is going to have a great night. So we're right now we're kind of spreading them out, right? We're running wide. Uh, let's see if we... After we've done that a few times, whether we hit them up the middle and, and try to well, get them on their heels. I'll tell you what you've done. Last week, we ran Aiden Morgan Nelly many, many times, and they started keying in on him until we started spreading the field. Tonight, we start off spreading the field, so look for Aiden Morgan Nelly to be fed that rock pretty soon and often here. Another spread formation. Trips to the left. Mitchell Jones in the shotgun formation. There's the play. It is an arid play. But look out. Room. Look out. 
Mitchell Jones makes something out of nothing. He's just like a magician. You think there's no rabbit in the hat, and out comes the rabbit. That's Mitchell Jones tonight as he keeps that ball and pulls nothing into something. He'll gain tied a good four or five yards there. Excellent decision-making for Mitchell Jones. I believe Stafford Lott is now in the game at tight end. This is a kind of a different new package we've got. Well, that pillar defense has got a goal line defense in, and Bo is making them pay around the edges. Big third down here, third and two. A little over three minutes to go. Pillow with six men in the box. The coaches didn't like something, so they're going to call a timeout. Well, Pillow switched defense to a goal line tight. They hit all tight end, had six men in the box. And maybe that Bo may have something called as a dive play and decided against it. Well used timeout for the coaches. Absolutely. Next week, Tuesday. Three minutes left here in the first quarter. Our score here is zero to zero. We started out from the 28-yard line. We've driven the ball all the way down to the pillow 35-yard line, and that's where we stand third down and three. We've gone from the 28 to the 28, Joey. Third down and three. Last week was born. We were blessed with a special guest, Ken Causey, as we discussed the great Lynn Dawson and the Kansas City Chiefs. This week, we have a special guest in our booth tonight, and one Jeff Borganelli, our high-ranked technician who breaks all of this possible, bringing you the live, living, color at home that you're looking at right Here we now. Go. Big third down. Aiden Borganelli in an I formation. Here he comes. It's right up the gut to Aiden Borganelli. He's, He's got, got a room. seam, and he dives. For Forward. That will be enough for the first down, Todd. I love the way that Aiden Borganelli ran behind his shoulder pads. He was full steam ahead forward behind the pad. He hits the linebacker. Boom, first down He was by Colts. running for a purpose, and that purpose was the first down, and he got it. <laughs> Dallas Bright, our PA announcer over there, along with Lulu, is keeping the score on the board. And Edwin Kraft, the master craftsman, is doing a fine job. It's Todd Jeffries, Joey Miller, bringing this live and well from the Bio Academy. Bio has dominated on their offensive side of the ball. Two minutes, 20 seconds. They've got an issue. Got a play calling issue from the sideline. The back is not sure where to line up at. Here comes a man in motion. It's fake to the pitch. Aiden has the ball, but he's caught from behind this time by a swarm of pillow mustangs. You know, there was, I don't know if everybody was on the same page and, and there was some confusion. We've got to avoid those type plays in this game. Well, last week, Todd, we saw, shot ourselves in the foot when we were inside the red zone. We fumbled on the one yard line and then we threw a interception down low. But look, this week, we've looked real smooth, real crisp. Give those linemen up front. Corey Barfield, Anderson Short, Peoples, and Big Hill, Alaska. Second and 14. Some credit. Same play, right up the middle. Aiden has a, oh, yes, good shifty. He shifted to the right. He shifted to the left. He did a little dance there, Todd, and powered up the field. He's going to be about three yards short of the first down, but what a run by Aiden Morgan. No. Another strong run. We're going to have a big third and about four. Well, Kellen Allen is coming in with the play from the sideline. Let's see if we can get it right on here. It was a little bit confusion on the last first down. Probably in third down, big three yards to go. Make it four. And here comes your play. Aiden Borganelli again. He's got the seam. He's got going it. into the end zone. No. Down to the one. Pulled down around the one, one and a half yard line. Todd, the coaches have spotted a weakness in the pillar defense. They've called in the plays, and they're running right over Peoples, number 72. He's powering over his man. And give a lot of credit to that front line. Corey Barfield, Peoples, Anderson Short, Lasker, and number 62, Bryce Clark. Versus Very yeah. impressive for the Bow Academy front line. We need to take care of the ball down here deep. I don't think Punch we're going to put that ball up. This is definitely going to Borganelli at this range. And there it is. And he'll Amen. go. In. He Cut walks down. into the end zone for one of the great 
picked by Academy touchdowns. Good job by, by Academy uh, eating up the first quarter with a, I don't know how many plays it was. It had to be close to 10 plays. 10 plays, 72 yard drive. Bow Academy, 72 yard drive. Big number 33, Ryan Dawson Mallet led the way into the hole. Aiden Borganelli follows him through. Touchdown, Bow Academy, and that's Kellen what you'd Allen. like to see. His, what a his, night. His extra points can be important. Kellen Allen is a fine footed kicker. Oh, this one. Got up. The snap was. Uh, it was just a, a bad snap. Wobbly. Landon Williams, the holder, did what he could with it. He runs out of the pocket trying to avoid the tackle, throws the ball up into the end zone. It is picked off by the Mustangs. But not until the Bio Academy could roll up a six point touchdown, and they're up by six at this point. 72 yard drive. Tied a lot different from last week. We come in last week, and Hartfield dealt us a handful. But this week, the coaches corrected all that. They come back with that offense, and I love to start up with a six point lead. Not bad for your big blue wrecking crew. Now we'll, we're going to get a look at, at the Bio Academy defense. Which which, you know, as you mentioned, uh, had a difficult time at Hartfield last week. So we, we got to see if we can stiffen up. Bio Academy's kicking team is on the field, which includes number 16, Eason Lamb. I think they're asking for a, a T. Coach McClendon throws one. Good arm, Coach. Can't kick the ball without a tee. Coach McClendon throws the orange tee into the middle of the field, and Kellen Allen is doing the duties, ready for kickoff. 19 seconds to go here in the first. Let's see if he goes with the pooch kick. Kellen Allen's got a pretty good foot on him. Got Hayes Brown Known back to be a soccer pillow. player. He's number six. He's They call him Turbo, Joey, so see if we kick it to Turbo. And we do right out of the gate. Hayes Brown getting the ball. He's got the ball. He's got the Jets on. He's looking for he's speed, speed, he's speed, but And he's there tall. he is, big peoples. Good job. Give credit to peoples. 72. Brown had had gotten ahead of steam. And, and Big uh, Griffin people, Todd, it was like hitting a brick wall. He had a good head of steam. Like you said, those feet were turning. I thought he had a little seam to get through. Bam, he had a brick wall in the form of number 72, Griffin Peoples. All right, so we got Lincoln Jeffries, Mallet at linebacker, Borganelli and Williams at corner. The got tension. Lamb. The tension is built up. Hey, look at this set. This is the old power eye. They're trying to fool somebody with a trip to the right now. I think you're just going to look for that run up the middle. Looking for the sideline from directions. There's the snap. It's up. He looks. It's a There's screen. A it's a bubble screen. Bobble. Pick it up and run it. Pick it up and run it. No, they're going to call it incomplete. Tied for a moment there. I thought it was a catch and a fumble. No. But they're going to call Never that got incomplete. It. Got it, Jeff. You should have seen the smile on the face of one Anderson Short. He thought he had him a fumble and was headed to the end zone. And he was smiling all the way. All right. So Second down. Ten yards to go. Hill is going to have a from three the thirty-nine back. yard line. So they're going to try to run some power. Power ball. And there it is. He got a seam. Jeffries got the tackle. Great tackle by number three, William uh, Jeffries. Along with Good job. And Landon by those guys Williams closing that hole up. Hey, Todd Landon Williams to come up to help William Jeffries, and they made a smash down on the running back. Good play by that defense, Todd. And look, you know, the defense looks great tonight as well. Well, but look. This is going to be a, a you know, a head to head. Uh, they're going to try to grind this out. They're, you know, we, we're going to have a quarter's worth of drive. They're going to try to do the same thing. I thought it was a timeout on the field. It is a quarter change. Yeah. 
Bio Academy ate up the whole first quarter with a 72-yard drive to go up six to nothing. That's just good, solid, controlled ball playing. Good coaching from the sideline from Rodney Martin, Mike McClendon, McLeod Norwood, and one Will Reed. It's going to be third down, and a, we'll call it seven for Pilla. Bio would love to try to get off the field here on D. Now we're going, the Bio Academy are going east to west as we have flip-flopped. Ryan Dawson Mallet here on the outside as a linebacker. William Jeffries, number three, is the middle linebacker. And Brandon Crocker has come in as an outside linebacker, number eight. Keep an eye on Brandon Crocker. And we have another whistle blown. Time out, pillow. Time out, pillow. Time out, pillow. They didn't like what they saw there either, Todd. And let me tell you, you have to take your hat off to the coaches over there because they recognize you're down by six. You haven't got very much motion from your offense. And Bio Academy is just dominating on offense. So you don't want to give the ball right back to right. them, do you? No. And, and, you know, I think, you know, Pillow's trying to figure out, you know, they're going to run a reverse here, something, you know, they don't throw the ball much. But, you know, at some point they, you know, they got to air it out and they may do that here. Coach McClendon is giving his signals to the well, defense. Well, somewhere down the road, our special guest from last week, Ken Causen, was saying, he said, hey, look, keep your heads up. Your offense look great. If y'all start spreading that ball around a little bit and give your running back some room, big things are going to happen. And he seems to be like a wizard right now. Third down here. Here we go. Number six. It's a handoff to number six. Line. Boom. Down he goes. That's number two. Aiden Morganelli hits good him job. around the cleat. Again, good job by Ethan Land coming in and cleaning it up. Cleaning it up. Number 16 was Ethan Lamb. We got lovely. Down. I tell you one thing. That Ethan Lamb is a tough kid. He don't mind putting his head in there. Absolutely he not. He only weighs about 115 pounds. But let me tell you something. He'll go in and stick his head and, in. You know, he with took. He no took a pretty. Problem at all. He per, took a pretty violent block in one of the first plays of the game against Hartfield last week. Fourth and down, Todd. They're in a formation. It looks like a punt for. Formation. Let's see if they go ahead and punt. They do. Mallet trying to get a hand on it. The ball is wobbly. It's going to roll dead around the 29-yard line. Good job by Borganelli. He needed to stay away from that ball. And I think Coach Martin's telling him, if you're not going to get near it. Coach McClendon had his hands up. His heart skipped a beat as Aiden Borganelli was just like a foot from the ball. <laughs> he, made he was afraid a, he was going to touch it. He made a fake move at the ball. And I think Coach Martin and Coach McClendon said, Aiden, None of that, buddy. Well, it's Todd Jeffries and Joey Mallet bringing you this live stream to your home. Bio Academy scored on their first possession, and now they are in the second possession. They're starting out at the 29-yard line, almost the exact same spot from the opposite end of the field as we started earlier. Seven minutes left in your second quarter. The score, 6 nothing by you. And again, spread formation for the Bio Academy coach. Mitchell Jones in the shotgun position. He hands it. He fakes hey, it. He bootleg. He's, he's got Mallet. Got him. Mallet makes the catch. Dives forward. Todd, he's just right close to the first down marker. If he's short, it's going to be by inches. What do you think? He's a little bit short, but a good, good pass play. Mallet, number 33, comes out of the backfield. Got sure hands. Mitchell Jones puts it on him, and he gets about nine, nine and a half yards on that one. Good play from Mitchell Jones to Mallet. On the pass play. We have a new wide receiver out wide to the right. It's number eight. It's Brandon Crocker. Brandon Crocker has a set of hands on him. This might be a good Second time for go to the bomb, Todd. Look for the bomb. No, it's Aiden Morganelli up the middle. He will get the yard and a little bit more. First down, Colts. Six and a half minutes ago. And the Bio Academy Colts, they just keep driving that ball down the field with yet another first down effort by Aiden Morganelli, number two. Mitchell Jones stands tall in that pocket, Todd. He's got a pretty ball when he throws it. He may pull it down in bootleg. He may get to number two, Aiden Morganelli, or he may just pitch it out to Bo Lincas coming around the edge. He's got some weapons to work with. Two men to the left, two wide receivers to the left. And this one's given to Morgan. Now he's hit in the backfield. 
and no number 65 from the Pillar Mustangs. He sniffed that one out. He felt like they were going to Borganelli on that play. He jumped through his man, sliced and diced through, and down went Borganelli in the backfield. Loss of one on the play. Landon Williams in for the play. Here he comes. Wide receiver out wide to the right. Bo Link is out wide to the left. Number 82, Stafford Light 11. in at tight end. Aiden Borganelli in the backfield. There it is. He fakes to Borganelli. He's looking for Mallard again. He fires it over the oh, middle. There it is, the, the Stafford Lott. Stafford Lott. Just shy of a first down. It was first and 11. Second and 11. Now it's third and two. Good catch by number 82, Stafford Lott. Big, tall, lanky Stafford Lott. Comes across that football field in Mitchell Jones. Finds him. Hits him between the eight and the two. And Mitchell Jones. Jones has not had an incomplete pass tonight, Todd. He has not. Looking good. He, I think he's know, about think five he looked, for five for he, about 40 yards. He looked first at Mallet there, and, and they had Mallet, but Lot was open. Big third down here. Check it out again. I think it might be the same play, maybe to Mallet to the left this time. Let's see if he does a bootleg to Borganelli. Uh, straight straight up the middle. Borganelli has the first down and more. Great play call by Coach Mike McClendon and McLeod Norwood from the sidelines. Borganelli had a full head of steam tight. He's getting quick acceleration. That's what that track can do for you. He's a 100-yard man, and he hit that hole like he was trying to get a world record time in the 100. Yeah. He's doing a great you got Dallas Bright getting some kids off the softball. Kellen Allen, number 20, is coming to the game. Looks like Jeffries has got some sort of arm elbow issue. Hopefully it's just Well, they need to take stinger. care of that quick because he made a good play on the middle linebacker position on our last possession. We're going to need him later on. Three uh, under four minutes to go. First Nobody out. out to the left. Two men out to the right. There it is. Borganelli has the ball again. He, what a move. He's, He's gone. Going, 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 baby. He's there going. he goes. He's, He's going for the end zone. One man to beat. Can't quite beat him, but he, he gets, gets down, down to the, the one-yard line. Todd Jeffries, let me tell you something. You talk about a shake and a bake. Aiden Morgan and he broke through the line of scrimmage. He shook to the left. He baked to the right. And down the sideline he went. Todd, I thought he was going to score. Yeah, uh, great run by Aiden. You know, we're kind of doing this um, like we talked about, spreading it out, and then we're going to bust it up the middle. So you talking about letting the air out of a balloon. Pillar thought they were going to stop us there, maybe take another possession. Brady Davis not to be. Back here. William Jeffries in. Goal line offense in. Here we come. Mitchell under center. He will take it himself. Big, long, tall Mitchell Jones. He did not get in. And they are looking at it. He's got to be just within inches. Good run for Mitchell Jones. Todd, he just pulled that ball under and went for it. And he almost made it in. Second down and goal. Three minutes and ten and seconds look, to go. In oh, this look who's coming in. Number two, Aiden Borganelli. He's had a great run tonight. Let's see if they're going to power it in. They usually bring number 33 in motion, Brian Dawson Mallet, and run number two right up his back. I just give it to Jones again, and it looks like he gets in. It he looks like Jones is in. Down. I like that, Todd. There's nothing wrong with another Bayou Academy touchdown. I think we're going for two here. I think the coaches maybe didn't like what they saw on that extra point attempt, and we're going to try to get it, get two here and get it to 14. Well, we'll go up 14. That's a good idea from the coaches, in my opinion. Todd, how impressive is this? Two drives of 72, 73 yards in a row. Bio Academy has 150 yards in offense so far, and we still have three minutes left in the first half. Jones on the shotgun. Fakes. fakes it. He's looking for Mallet. Got him. Two Into points. the end zone. Into the end zone. Number 33, Ryan Dawson Mallet. Now, so, Joey, this is kind of a big spot in the game. we got two minutes and 46 seconds left. We cannot get complacent and think that we're running away with this game because Pill is going to want to try to get on the board before half. So we have got to keep the foot on the gas pedal here. 
Well, so far, Todd, it's been a perfect game called by the coaches from the sideline. As, as they said, Lynn Hart says across the way, it is a real good deal. You, many of you folks have heard that on the radio. Bio Academy Colts has taken a commanding 14 to nothing league lead, and we would like to see that all night. Todd, I don't know how you can run an offense any more efficient than that. Look good, unless you're a pillar Mustang. You're two-time defending district champions. I, I keep thinking you're going to jinx a two -time. Us by, by continuing to say that, Joseph, but you haven't yet. Well. <laughs> I look back, one of the key plays during that drive was a pass to the tight end, number 82, Stafford Lott, as he came across and put us in first down possession. Kicks it to the left. This is going to be the number eight. Oh, he bobbles the ball. I thought he had fumbled for a second. Oh, a missed tackle, two missed tackles. He's still to the outside. He's still on his feet. He's fighting. He's still on his feet. What a good, gutsy run by number eight of the Pillar Mustang. Todd Jeffries is going to pull out a name for you. Ben's Porter. But what a tough run by number eight. Who was he, Todd? Ben's Porter. So, I mean, look for them to probably get number eight the ball here on offense because he uh, played with some aggression right there. Well, I'd like to put a shout out over to the Greenwood Way. I know he's listening diligently to the television set. One Jared Counts is sitting in his easy chair. I know his ears have turned red and his face probably got a little different in color. But, look, you still have a chance to come back, Jared. Don't give up on him quite yet. You're only down by two touchdowns long ball game to go short run two minutes and 25 seconds left here in the first half looks like Braden Davis is in now this is a, a little bit of a different defensive look we've got I think they call it stat um, I can't keep up with all the terminology. You're, no, you're exactly right. It's a stacked defense. Linebackers are stacked over the, the tackles. Here we go. Three-man rush. There it is. They fire it in. And that big fullback, number 33, he barrels forward. He's going to be close to a first. Third down and three yards to go. Yep. The Pillow Mustangs have not gotten a first down tonight, Todd. And we're way deep into with a minute 42 left before halftime. So I think if that wrecking crew can stay in there and keep those Pillow Mustangs honest, we can go into the lead with a halftime of 14 to nothing. Got to stop them here, Joseph. Look at the crowd tonight, Todd. Have you noticed? Packed stands, students ready. Everybody singing. The cheerleaders hit There's the a big tackle out. by Ryan Dawson Mallet behind the line of scrimmage. And he puts him into the turf. So no now, doubt about you know, it. Pillow's in a, they got a decision to make. And the Pillow Mustangs have not disappointed. They have brought a whole slew of fans over here from Greenwood, Mississippi. And bio. let's give them a great bow. Welcome. Hey, I tell you, that was a good job by Ryan Dawson Mallet. You know, these linebackers are sometimes shooting gaps, and he shot the gap, got that ball carrier, and did not let go. No, he was in on him like a bulldog there. You have to wonder if, if, if Pilla feels like they got to try to get a first down here on fourth down. And that this is kind of the, this is their chance here to get back in this game. Of course, if they don't get it, bio has got the ball with a short field with a minute left. With the powerhouse offense that Bio Academy has shown here tonight, if I was Pilla, I would punt that ball. You don't want to turn it over to Bio Academy on your side of the field, already down by two scores. Go in the locker room, regroup. You know, I would be, I'd be real wild. Watchful for a fake here, Joey. Aiden Borganelli back. They're going to kick it to dangerous number two, Aiden Borganelli. I bet the punter tries to punt it out of bounds. Oh, it's a fake. And there he goes. He's hit. And he's, he's think, short. Oh, no, he. Well, the referee may be giving him a decent mark. Let's see. You know, I said it, Joey, that it, it just it smelled like a fake at that yardage. They did the old. Very lucky. He was hitting the backfield. He dragged a man or two to the first down marker, and I think it was a good call by the referee in charge. Jeffries made the tackle there, but the runner kind of, like you said, you know, took him for a yard or two after contact and just got that first down. You know, and I've noticed in this game, these, these referees are going to, 
they're going to kind of give the benefit of the doubt on a on a first down play. And it was a it was a well run play by Pillow. Uh, they've still got life now with one minute exactly to go in this first half. They get the ball first in the second half, so they're um, exactly my point. They're they trying to make something here happen and get the ball after that break. They'll have a chance to tie the game up. Right. So, Bow Academy needs to keep the pressure on and stop that Pilla offense. Pilla picks up their first first down of the evening on a fourth down punt fake. And they barely get it by the nose of the football. And here we go. Defense has got a bow up here. Barlow out wide to the left. Look for the bomb. And there it is. There comes a lot of big. Oh, there's a good tackle. Bo Lakers. A lot of And swimming. Ryan Dawson Mallet. Bo Lakers tripped him up, and Ryan Dawson Mallet finished him off. You know, that, that all started with just a jailbreak uh, blitz with uh, most all of our linebackers. And and for a minute, I thought the quarterback was going to scoot away, but Bo Lakers and Ryan Dawson Mallet were having I like battle. what I see. Number 62, Bryce Clark, a lineman on the Bio Academy team. He goes back and high fives the linebackers. It's all a team effort. That's right. They've all got to play together. They've Corey got Barfield. Five seconds left. Corey Barfield, number 70. The Bulldog up front. He's trying to beat his man. Let's watch him on this play. And here he comes. He's got his ears pinned back. Boom. He's up in the middle. The it's a pitch. He fumbles the ball. No. He's got. Oh. Good Three, job. four men on the line. That's going to probably do it for the half. Good job by Bio Academy. Bowing up. They're going to call timeout with five seconds left. Okay. Tied. I'm going to tell you what I see in this game. That's a lot of tenacity going on right there. Hey, you can tell the intensity level of this game is up a lot more than it was last week. Right. You can tell in the tackling drills, the coaches have done their job this week firing this team up. Yeah, these guys are rallying to the ball. Um, I think they have a – if you could get your phone off, that'd be great, Joseph. Um, the rally into the ball, and um, look, they're not taking Pillow for granted. They, they've grown up with these boys, right? So they know them, and they know they've got some good athletes. So It's been a rivalry every year that we play Pillow. They know that we're the district champs, as well as everybody <laughs> else in the district knows it. If they didn't know it tonight, you have certainly reminded them of that fact, Justin. I know if I was sitting at home and listening to a junior high ball game, I would not know the regions or the stats or who's in the, in the head or in the league. But by the Academy, well, they have come out smoking over the last two years, and this one seems to right, be no so different. Let's see if we kind of get into a little bit of a prevent. I'm always a little scared of prevent. Well, you got uh, big Brandon Crocker, number eight, in a uh, free safety position alongside Eason Lamb, Aiden Borganelli, you, and Landon Williams are deep. This is a Hail Mary. And there it is. He fires it. Oh, and pass and is dropped. It is dropped. They're gonna now, they, now they got a fourth down with two seconds left. And I I'd assume they'll try to make a play. Yeah, we okay. kind of want the clock operator down there to kind of go ahead and <laughs> We're obviously kidding. She's doing a great job. New defense. He hands it right up the middle. Good job tackling there by Braden Davis. Number 23, Braden Davis on and the final tackle of the first half. Bio Academy will go with a 14-0 lead. We're going to take a little break, and we'll be back with you in about 12 minutes.
right, we're back. Had a wonderful halftime show with the cheer and dance teams for both Pilla and Bio Academy. Those girls did a great job. We got about a minute or so until we start the second half. Joey, we're, we're, ki we're kicking off the Pilla, and we got to keep this momentum going in our favor. Don't want to give them life to start this second half, and that means we got to hold them. So proud of these Bio Academy Colts. They had a great offense and defense first half. 200 yards by the offense in the first half. And the defense had a shutdown defense, only giving up one first down, and that was on a punt fake. So kudos to the Bio Academy Colts for their play. These coaches have got them fired up. This is our first district game of the year, Todd. And, yeah. and it looked like it. Yeah, and... Um... We've got to keep keep that momentum in our favor. I saw a lot of poise from our quarterback, Mitchell Jones. Good hard leg drive from our running back, Aiden Morganelli. Bo Lankus was coming around. They fed him the ball a lot that first half. He looked very good. Got the ball to Ryan Dawson Mallet. Got the ball to Stafford Lott. So all that put together makes a 14 to nothing Bayou Academy lead with the Pillar Mustangs receiving the kickoff. A lot to say. i tell you another thing, that Bio Academy offensive-defensive line, they were getting penetration tonight, and they were making some well-designed blocks. They made some great tackles. So I think from top to bottom, we had a complete overhaul on that defense from last week, Todd, and they looked great. Pillow Mustangs will be receiving. They are on the west side of the football field. They will be going west to east. Kellen Allen will be kicking off for the Bio Academy Colts, and they will be going from east to west. Thank you for joining us on this broadcast. Todd Jeffries and Joey Mallet live at your TV screen. We want to ask you. A little, put a little glide in your stride, a little cut in your strut. Turn the tunes of the streaming up, because if the Bayou Academy Colts is with you, can't nothing get you. Well, let's see who we kick it to here. Both six and eight have been a little dangerous so far. Let's see if we kick it to one of these up backs. Here comes the kick. And we do. No, no. Good kick. We may have a chance at this one. Oh! Down he goes. He kneels down about the 38-yard line. And I like that play. We saw both of their deep backs um, have decent returns on our two kickoffs. So let's just take that out of the equation. Yeah, they got the ball at the 38, but... Um, they're not busting a big one off. Griffin People, 72 on the outside of the left line. Anderson Short, Corey Barfield, and Lake, Bryce Lake. Boom, they charge up. It's just a dive play. And the pillar man is still driving his feet. They haven't brought him down yet. He's going to go for about four yards. Yeah. Good hard penetration by the pillar Mustangs on that one, Todd. That was a good hard run, and that's going to. They got a little push from that offensive line. Give that line some confidence. We've got to get our shoulder pads below their shoulder pads to stop that kind of drive. Second and four for pillar. Ryan Dawson Mallet on a blitz. Here he comes. There he is. Boom! He makes a great play great as he came play. off that edge. And he, Todd, you know, you can run upfield a little too far and miss that. He came up the field and went right down the line of scrimmage and made the play. Corey Barfield so with a good, good play. Mallet and Barfield. Dangerous duo. Big third and three here. Coach McClendon's calling in the defense. Long look at the sideline by the pillar quarterback, number 11. Third down and a big four to go. That Bio Academy defense is getting down low. They're going to submarine. Boom, there they go. It's up the middle, and he breaks a tackle. First down, pillar. Good hard run by number six, it looked like, Todd. Is that Brown? 
I believe it was. Yep. He hit the ball. He hit the hole. There was a it was a, a seam there, a crease, if you will, and he hit it, exploited it, and got the first down. So pillow with some success here, just kind of smash mouth football. We are six minutes into the third quarter. Six minutes twenty one seconds left in the third quarter. Bio Academy Colts leading this game, fourteen to nothing. Mallet on the line. Oh, he they jumps. They get a five yard penalty. They were trying to read that football. It was an all-out blitz on that play, Todd, and it yeah. just didn't work out. So Sometimes this, you get a little too antsy. This is not how we wanted to start the second half, giving Pillow some life. Uh, they're running the ball on us, and now we give them five free yards. So, so a call for calm has come to the Bio Academy defense. First down and five. Two receivers out, left and right. Ah, back in the backfield. They've had some success with that lately. There it is again, same play. This time, he's upended once again, this time by Bo Lankus. A flag is thrown. Uh -oh. It looks like Pilla is going to get an unnecessary roughness penalty. We'll call it. Let's see what they say. It does look like unnecessary roughness on Pilla from the spot of the foul. was on top of somebody. Yes. Um, I saw it from up here. He had Anderson short on the ground, and I don't know what he said to him, but it looked like he hit him with a forearm, yeah, and that's not hard. allowed. That's a all-day flagrant foul, which results in a 15-yard penalty. That's a big penalty for the Mustangs. Yeah, that's not what they wanted to see. Todd, they had it manageable. They had it first and five, and now this could back it up to where they've got about oh it could be second and 15. They're, they're making sure we wanted to accept it which of course we will. Well coach McClendon looked over hands palms hands both up and said of course we do. They're gonna mark off 15 yards. Can't do that. It was a good block but all that unnecessary violence after the play results in a 15-yard penalty. So let's square it up. Second down and 15. Make it third. Third down. They got and it 15. showing it's third down. And we got a timeout. You know, this timeout, spot, Bio. That's a good call. In this, yeah, in this spot, uh, we've caught him with, with a mental error, and we don't want to let him back in this drive. So good job by the coaches. Um, I tell you what he's doing. He's gone out. They've ran the same play about three times in a row, and, the, and, and we haven't made the adjustment to stop that hole up. I think he's going to make sure we plug that hole this time, make him run a different play. Yeah. So far, a stellar performance by your Bio Academy Colts. Just completely shut down the Mustangs for the first half. The Mustangs have coming out, driving the ball in the second half, but a big flagrant foul penalty has backed them up to third and 15. So big play for Bio Academy, but a bigger play for the Mustangs. They really need this one bad, Todd. This may be two down territory for them. Shotgun formation. He looks, he fires it. Oh, oh Bo Lincoln's almost intercept. Good heads up play by number one, Todd. He had a vertical leap there, but at least 32 inches. He jumps up with his long arms and bats that you know, ball down. I think if Bo had just kept his feet, he maybe could have caught it. It, it looked like pick for us six. To say. He was excited. It's going to be tough to catch that ball. Uh, it, that ball was moving. I don't think they're going for a fake here, Todd. Fourth down, 15. And the Bio Academy Colts defense, how about that? What do you think about that defensive play tonight? Well, look, we, we kind of bit bend but didn't break right there. We got to watch this ball, make sure it doesn't hit off a player and it's down. So, but you know, Phillip made a, a mental error, uh, an unforced error by a lineman um, getting a little too physical and that cost him that drive. So those coaches are, I'm sure that young man's getting an earful on the sidelines. Um, well, off come the field was William Jeffries, Brandon Crocker, and Lamb. I tell you what, they've been playing tenacious in the middle of that defense tonight as number three, William Jeffrey heads up that linebacker crew. Mitchell offense, Mitchell Jones. 
Offensive line's taking their position. Let's see what kind of formation they're in. They have Bo Lincoln's out wide to the left. Landon Williams out wide to the right. And the H-back, number 33, is lined up over the tight end. Here we go. Pitch to Bo. Good stiff Step arm. On. A good cut. Oh! I'll tell you what. Bo Lincoln's to play in front of the home crowd. He came out with a head of steam and a lot of intensity in his in his body, and he has really put it out on the line tonight. Good run for Bo Linkus. Second down and one, Todd. And you're seeing some uh, some hits after the whistle. Let's see if the if the referees kind of try to get the control of this because certainly team people can well, get frustrated. When you're you down 14 to nothing and all the frustrations are coming out, you start the tendency to hit a little bit longer than you you should and the referees Second are going to have one. to be aware of that here we go shotgun formation look for Aiden Morganelli there it is and he's got a seam oh did he almost break it off he is punishing those tacklers for the Mustangs I don't think anybody was wanting to come get another piece of Morganelli after that play well he has a low center of gravity a big head of steam and he runs behind his shoulder pads when he takes that little jab step you look to your right and bam he hits that left and tied he broke that for about eight nine yards and it was really only about a two yard play first down 10 for your bio academy coach hope you're enjoying this broadcast from home because we certainly love bringing it to you four minutes 35 seconds first and 10. kellen allen bio. out right to the right Bo link is out wide to the left here comes Bo in motion oh i'm telling you i'm telling you all right, so we didn't have somebody lined up at receiver. These receivers have got to check with the ref to make sure they're on I the think line. Kellen Allen may have been a little offsides. The Bryce Clark pulled. It was a cross buck where Bo Linkus was going to get the fake pitch and Aiden Borganelli was going to cr cut across his backside in behind Bryce Clark, and that had a big lane tied. That was trouble for the Mustangs. Jeffrey's in for Allen, and Coach Norwood's going to talk to Allen about, look, you've got to make sure that referee. Well, yeah, that's a big you. play, first and 15. Look out wide. Here it comes again. This time we pitch it to Bo. He's got a lane. Come on. Ah, he hits it. The hole. Another flag down. Good run by Bo Lankus. He runs for about 12 yards. They're going to call the hold. May have been on Ryan Dawson. I, I didn't see it. Did you, Joey? I didn't um, see it. I'm, uh, we'll have to go back and look at that at a later date. But if you're at home, he and Rodney see it. Martin were discussing it afterwards, and uh, so I'm not sure it was on Ryan Dawson. But so it, it had to be because the, the spot of the foul. I mean, because Ryan Dawson was in the back there, and so that's a. Golly. Well, that's gonna be first and 25. <laughs> it's a long penalty from the Joseph. <laughs> Well, I think Bio Academy needs to play it cool. They have a 14-point lead. Certainly here we're not going to get too risque. Kellen Allen back in the ball game. Out wide to the left. Bo Link is in the slot formation. Aiden Borganelli, your single running back. And there it is. Mitchell Jones is looking deep. He fires it. It's caught. This one to Kellen Allen. Good job Kellen Allen, Allen there. fights forward so for about 10 yards. Yeah, game of 10. How about that, Todd? Goes to second and 15. They look for that play again. They thought Borganelli was going to get the ball. Mitchell Jones, good play action, pulls up, hits his man. Good Kellen job by Allen, Kellen Allen. Number 20. checked with the ref there, got lined up. You don't see it very often, but I saw a smile come across Clint Allen's face. <laughs> All right. Good so shot. We got some Mitchell Jones, if you've not been keeping up with it, he is seven for seven tonight for the Bio Academy coach. Shotgun formation. Everybody in spread formation. He throws the ball. Oh, he had it. You 
jinxed him, Joseph, saying he was seven for seven. Well, I'm going to tell you, he reached up, and Bo took just a stutter step, and the ball was thrown. But last week, Mitchell Jones was under-throwing the ball a little bit. This week, he got some air under it. looked good. Good tight spiral. Good pass. No problem with that one, Todd. You would certainly rather see that ball overthrown than underthrown in that spot. Look good. Look good. Just not we just got We got down. third and 18. I would imagine we'll play it fairly conservatively here, but I don't know. You don't forget now, Bo Blinkus also does your punting, and he's got a big foot. So I think they'll go conservative and just punt the ball. This should be a handoff to Hayden. Uh, we got a problem, and Jones is off to the races, Look. and he's going to throw the ball. Mallet. <laughs> Mallet breaks it down. He comes up. He puts a little stutter step on his man, and he's up for about so fourth now, down and, and six or seven. Now, Joey, we're in their territory, and we may go for it. Uh, so Jones thought about sitting on that ball, and then he's like, well, nobody's around me, so I'm going to William Jeffries out. running in the play. It's fourth down and seven, and it does appear that the Bio Academy Colts are going to go for it. I would punt in this situation. It was me, just an opinion. But the Colts are going to call a timeout. Yeah, you know. Let's, let's talk it over. Let's talk think it over. about it. You're yeah. up 14 to nothing, and you couldn't get great field position by pinning them back deep. I think the choice here probably would be punt, but you never know. Mike McClennan has taken the place of Coach Beck, and he may be a riverboat gambler. He may be the guy that just says, hey, guys, I believe in you. Mitchell, I need you to put a ball out here. We need to get those seven well, yards. you see Mitchell's over there talking to Coach Norwood. Uh, probably telling him what he'd want, want to run in this spot. In the past, in the last game, rather, they usually run Ryan Dawson Mallet on about a seven-yard out run, and they've been hitting that pretty consistently. Or they'll do a tight end drag with Stafford Lott, and that's been open as well. So look for one of those two plays. We're punting. <laughs> As my colleague and Todd you Jeffries said, that has said, you wanted us punting, so we better pin them deep here, Joe. I'm 100% think this is the right call. Bo Linkus, they're going to underplay this, but Bo Linkus has a tremendous lead. You know, this could also be a fake. I'm just saying. I don't know what our fake game is like. No, we're punting it. Lincoln. Look at that punt. Wow. Oh. High end over end, and it takes a good bounce. Somebody's got to get on that ball. Oh, we're good. We're good. We're down inside the 20 and tight. I like to see that. Now you got to drive the length of the field, and it could, it's going to take out the third quarter. Only two minutes and 33 seconds left in the third. Hey, Bio fans, if you're watching for home, you're missing the excitement tonight in the stands. The whole stands are full of Bio Academy fans. 25 cheerleaders cheering across the way, and the Bio Academy football team is up 14 to nothing. It doesn't get much better than that. First and 10 for Pilla on their own 20. Look for Pilla to do a little passing on this. They're way down and in their own territory. Inside their own 20. Five receivers in the line. There it is. He's looking for a quick pass. He's got it to their speedster. William Jeffries overruns the speedster. Oh, he breaks one. He breaks two. He finally drug down by Eason Lamb. 25-yard gain on the play. Todd, he just scampered out of the backfield. was not a pretty throw. It was a duck out of the backfield. Somehow he came down with it and threw the arms and hands and shoulder pads of some Bio Academy Colts. He just kind of slithered down the field. Yeah, so they, they've gotten that yardage back with one play. Clock over two minutes. Well, they're going with the passing look. They're not biting on that run anymore. Quarterback moves his running back over to his left. There it is. He pops it. It's up the middle. He's swarmed. He is swarmed. Yes, indeed. Jeffries 33. got a piece of him and then somebody Ryan else. Ryan Dawson Mallet comes and finishes him off. William Jeffries came in, got a piece of him, and Anderson Short, or that's Bryce Lake, number 62. You know, that's kind of what you have to do. You know, you certainly want to make that tackle at first contact, but at the very least, make the guy stop and change direction so that the rest of the team can rally to the ball. 
Parker George is coming into the ball game. Give Link Bo Lankus some water. Give him a little rest. Getting some instruction from the coach. But let me tell you something, young Parker George, keep an eye on him for the next couple of years. He is a tough as iron. Number six, Parker George. Look for the blitz over here. There it is. It's up the gut, but nothing doing. As that big blue line shuts them down, ball came out. They're going to call him down. They're not going to get the forward progress of the ball. It's going to be down. It's going to be third down and a long way to go. Third and nine. This is two down territory for the Pillar Mustangs. So Linkus, uh, you know, Linkus is one of our more athletic defenders. So we'd like to get him back in the game if we can. Well, right now, the Bio Academy Colts have been very successful on defense. You've got to be enjoying this at home. Our field looks like a golf course. The grass is beautiful. It's marked off perfectly. The lights are shining. We got a brand new goal post. I mean, a brand new flagpole with Old Glory flying in the end zone. Five receivers out in formation. He's looking deep this time. He throws to the sideline. That ball's incomplete. Even if he had caught it, Todd, it was Brandon Crocker and Landon Williams there to clean house. That, ball, that play wasn't going anywhere. Fourth down. We'll see what Pilla does here. Bo Lankus back in the game, as Todd Jeffries called it. Having one heck of a game as Bo Lankus tonight. Todd, look up in the trenches. You're going to see elbows. You're going to see forearm smashes. Sweat is pouring off the linemen. It is a fist fight in those trenches. Yep. That is a tough place to be, my friend. So they're going to be getting this punt formation. Aiden is a little bit deep. He's not punted it over 15, 20 yards tonight. Well, he actually did. Big punt. Aiden gets it. Good job by Aiden coming up. Cutting that ball off, or that ball would have been down about the 15, 10 yard line. It's a little yeah. dangerous, but he. he, he I did. advise Aiden to be up about a 10 or 12 yards from where he was, <laughs> make an easy catch. He probably could have scampered for a few yards, but nonetheless, he did save him from getting a fumble. Great recovery and downed. So, Bow Academy's offense will take over as the third quarter will expire after this play. With only one tick on the clock, Todd, it has been a great three quarters of play. And the Pillow Mustangs are still hanging in there, but they're down by a score of 14 to nothing. Shotgun for. Fumble. the ball. End of the third on a fumble. Bow Academy, that was pretty sloppy. I'm going to tell you what happened there. Mitchell Jones was looking at the ball. He took his eye just off the ball for a second to go ahead and roll back, and he lost control of it. Lucky for us, he fell on the ball. No turnover, but a big loss on the play. Flag on the play. And they're going to take this one to the opposite end of the field. Hope Face mask on the defense, so we're going to get a first down after that lost yardage play, uh, which we, it would have been second down. Last week we got no breaks. This week we're getting all the breaks. Funny what a difference a week makes. And we'll we'll turn the field over. But as I was saying, Todd, a lot of people watching all the skill positions, getting the ball, throwing the ball, catching the ball. But right there in those trenches, those offensive and defensive linemen, I'm telling you, it is a slugfest in there. It may not look at, like it from, from the stands, but if you're on field level and get down and watch that, man, the testosterone is flying. Yeah, and um, so what we'd love to see, Joseph, is a drive like we had to begin the game uh, as we start the fourth quarter here. Bo Lankus and Ryan Dawson talking it over on the field. Linemen are set. Mitchell Jones in the shotgun uh, formation. Out wide right. Landon Williams, number 14. And I think they're about to mark off this penalty. Well, give it to us, ref. We want those yards. Thank you, please, sir. I 
don't know if we got the yardage. Uh, first down and eight. I think they took the yardage that it was marked back. We okay. lost and added it to spot foul. Another high snap. They've got Aiden Borganelli in the backfield by a jersey. And I'm going to tell you, number three for Pilla, he wasn't letting go, Todd. He had a hold of that jersey like a wild bulldog. Yep. I've seen wild hyenas take their prey like that and not turn them loose. And Pilla is desperate at this point. They, they are hungry for a sack or a turnover or an interception. They need something. Second down and 11. Watch for Brandon Crocker on this play. He's out wide to the right. Roll out by Jones. Got a man over the middle. Got him. Landon Williams. That is no, Bo Lincoln. Lincoln. Excuse me. Mitchell Jones put that ball out on a rope. He hit Bo Lincoln about the 45 yard lines of the Mustangs, and there's nothing that the Mustang defense could do and about you know, that. Mitchell had somebody bearing down on him, and he waited and waited, and I'm sure he took a shot. But, Signs uh, of a champion, poise in the pocket. Yep. Hey. I mean, he had signs of Peyton Manning on that play. <laughs> well, it was a good, great-looking pass. Wide receiver out to the right is William Jeffries. Bo Link is over to the left. He got the Mustangs to jump. Nobody calls it. Change of play right here. There's the play call. McLeod Norwood calls it in. Watch out for the draw. We gotta get this. We gotta get the snap cleaned up. We're well. The the snap is there. It's not the center now. The snap was there. It's in him in his hands. He Mitchell is just bobbing his head right before he's ready to hand off, and it's causing chaotic problems. He's got to have that same poise when he catches that ball and puts it into the bread basket of the running back. <laughs> no problem though. Great game so far. Mitchell Jones nine for ten. Nine out of ten completions tonight. Last one for about a 25-yard bullet to one Bo Lincas. Bio Academy has dominated this game. Six minutes left in the fourth quarter. Your Colts up 14 to nothing. Second down, 15. Jones passing again. Got a man. Complete. Kellen Allen on the reception. And Kellen gets about six yards on the play. Oh, Clint Allen's boy. And Rhonda Allen's little man. Number 20, Kellen Allen. So Natural John goes. He has now completed 10 passes on the night. Third Ten down out of nine. Five, just five minutes and 15 seconds to go. Uh, Let's see what the coaches dial up. I'm looking for number two, Aiden Borganelli, on this. But Pilla has not got out of that defense. They're still in a goal line defense. They got six men up front. They're not, they're gonna make you pass it. They don't want Aiden to run the ball. Fakes it, boom, legs it out. And he sacked and fumbles. No, he keeps it. He fumbles this time. You know, you, you don't like the sack, but you also don't like Mitchell trying to, you like Mitchell not trying to force the ball there. Uh, keeps it, protects the ball, and we're going to punt it away. Everybody okay. We got big-footed Bo Linkus back there, and he's fixing to put this one into the stratosphere. Good punt on his last punt. Let's see if he can duplicate the action. There's the punt. There's the snap. Yes, sir. Look at that. End over end. That's a good get, one. We got our coverage guys back. They're, they're not going to return it. Boy, that, they really had a chance to get that ball on the hop uh, because we didn't have a lot of guys down there. Ryan Dawson Mallet is your long snapper. Is that right? And Bo Lincas put a perfect spiral in the air. And did you see the nose of that ball turn? That's what you want from a punt. Great punt. And he's down around uh, the 23 yard line. Pilla has poor field position again. It's been that way for him all night long. Four minutes and nine seconds to go. 
Todd Jeffries, Joey Mallet here live at the Bio Academy Sports Complex and a good one where your Bio Academy Colts has a commanding lead, 14 to nothing. They're going to pitch it. They close off the pitch. Did his job, turned him back in, and a pile of blue jerseys, including Brandon Crocker and Landon Williams, along with Bryce Clark. He'll get four yards on the carry, but good coverage by the Bio Academy Colts. Bio Academy sporting your blue on blue tonight and looking good. Three minutes and 45 seconds to go. Clock keeps ticking. And Pilla Mustang seem to be content, Todd, with the clock just ticking off. They've got to get two scores. They don't seem to be in too big a hurry. To well, they probably figured their best way to try to get yardage is running the ball, so they need to get in their right formation to do that. There's they the pitch. Boom. Good rally to the ball. He's going to get about three yards. Corey Barfield, number seven. Oh, corkscrew Corey. He comes out and makes a lick, and he gets him a tackle tonight. He's been up there in those trenches. Been doing a hard battle. That's Griffin Peoples. Number 63, Anderson Short. Corey Barfield and Bryce Clark, number 62, are your off defensive linemen. Just a tight formation. They're going to try to power this ball. It's just a power out of the left. This ball is going left. And it's a quarterback sneak. Landon Williams chasing him. He jumps oh, on him. Oh! Landon Williams, he wasn't having any part of that. He said, hey, man, you're running my way? I don't think so. And he comes up and makes a good play. Landon Williams, great play. Good job by the Fourth defense. Fourth down. And a lot. Spreading uh, no. that out. And, you know, Landon, Landon was faced with a play, and he made it. it was a great job. We're down to the two-minute warning. Pilla is taking their sweet time. It looks like they've made have a timeout. I don't know if they're going to go for this or punt it. It's, it's about seven yards, fourth and seven from their own 20 tight. Well, I think they got to go for it at this yeah, point. Yeah, I mean, one way or the other, it's going to leave the Colts in great field position to score. If you're listening out there, Bow Academy has a 14 to nothing lead as the clock rounds winds down. It looks like your two time defending district champions are going to do it again. They're going to get another mark in the win column, and it does feel good. I'm good not, to be a I'm not quite ready to announce it yet, Joseph. I've got well, too much time now, on the clock. You know. <laughs> when Howard Cosell and the great Dandy Don Meredith of all times, it's time to call in the dogs and put out the fire. This one is oh, wow. <laughs> I hope you aren't quick calling this victory, Joseph. Hey. All right, so that's fourth. On September 1st, 2022, seven. the Colts will go down in the record books is handing the Pilla Mustangs their second loss of the season. Here we go. Spread formation. There it is. He's looking deep. He's got time. He puts a bullet up. No flag on the no play. Flag. And that's a turnover on down. No flag on play. Good call. That is Landon Williams again on the coverage. He came and made the play on the third down and he was in coverage on the fourth down. Two plays in a row for Landon Williams. And the Bio Academy Colts has it. First down and ten. Todd, I'm interested to see are we going into the victory formation or are we going to try to put this ball in the end zone? I like to see a good aggressive play call here. Mitchell wisely puts Landon Williams and Bo Lankus in their places on the left side of the field. He's going to be under center. It looks like to me this is a kneel. No, it's a pitch. pitch. <laughs> he's looking for a oh, hole. No, he's got a hole. There and he, he goes. Got a no touchdown. Aiden Abonnelli. That's how you put 
put an expo exclamation point on a W right there. I'm now comfortable, Joseph, agreeing with you. And the fans go wild. Here at Bow Academy scary. Stadium, the fans are giving a standing ovation as they go into a pitch. Aiden Morganelli takes it up the middle. Good blocking all the way through the end zone. Touchdown, uh, Bayou. That will take your score to 20 to nothing, pending the two-point conversion. Todd, can't be prouder of the Colts tonight. They came out gunning. They look like a real football team. I think we're going to have a super season. Yeah, they uh, played well tonight. We want to keep that score zero on this uh, on the other team. Mitchell Bootleg. doesn't have anything, and he's going to get taken down. You kind of want to see Mitchell just get rid of that ball than rather than take that hit, but, you know, hey, I think he's okay. Good aggressive call. They did not quit. They did not kneel. I love it. I like that kind of aggressive football. 20 to nothing. Your ball Academy coach, this coach McClendon takes his hat off and said, get over here, boys. Give me a hug. <laughs> now, look, you're going to have to stay with us because we're going to have a B-team game after this. Um... A lot of the young men that um, maybe didn't see quite as much action in this A game are going to get a lot of action coming up in the B game. Well, we really hope you enjoyed this one. If you're a Bio Academy Colt fan sitting at home, hey, it doesn't get any better than this. 20 to nothing, your Bio Academy Colts have put a beat down on the Pilla Academy Mustangs. They drove all the way over from Greenwood for a tough event, and, buddy, they got it. So the Bio Academy Colts will go to one and one on the season. Their next game will be at Washington. We'll be playing here once again oh, no. next We're, week. No, we are going to Heritage next week. Sorry, Excuse correction you. by my colleague. Todd Jeffries said we are going to Heritage We're return next week. This. We gotta actually wrap somebody up, and that was Lincoln's giving chase. He scores. That was a lot of people bumping into the returner. And the coaches are just they're just not gonna like to see that. Well, it was poor tackling there. It was just a herd. They herded it all together. There, well, there were a lot of guys running into the ball carrier with their shoulder pads, and, you know, eight had a good return early. So, I mean, look, I know we've called this game, but, I mean, now we're looking at probably Pillow kicking an onside kick. It's possible. Minute. 30 seconds left in your ball game, and the kick is good. 20 to 7. Just like that, lightning strikes for the Mustangs. Rodney Martin's going to let them hear it, and that's they should, because you never want to, to give up points that late in the game when you can get a shutout. He's giving them an ear full, and I'm going to tell you, Todd, you are just exactly right. There's no other play in the book but an onside kick here. Yeah. Looks like it was some kind of call. So our good hands team includes Crawford Laster, Griffin Peoples, Eason Lamb, Ryan Dawson Mallet, William Jeffries, Kellen Allen, Vargas, Brandon Crocker. William Jeffries, Kellen Allen, and number one, Bo Lincas. One man back deep, Aiden Borganelli. So they're definitely looking for their own side here. Let's see if Lightning can strike twice, Todd. Maybe watch for like a, a pooch kick and hope that we don't. No, it's just a straight onside kick. 
They kicked it to Landon Vargas. I don't know if he caught it clean, but he fell on it cleanly. <laughs> that looked like a Superman. It went up under his leg, and he looked like a Superman. Man knocked the breath it out of him. to him like Velcro, and he got on that ball. And I think the coaches have seen all they want to see. I'm looking for the kneel down here, Todd, with only a minute, 26 seconds. You can kneel on it three times, and the ball game would be over. Yeah, I, I don't know if, you know, is Pillar going to be in a position to call timeouts? They got two of them left. According to our technician, one Edwin Kraft, they do have two timeouts under their belt. So perhaps we will run the ball. Here we go. Shotgun formation. There's Borganelli up the middle. Borganelli up the middle. He's driving forward and a good run. Good hard run. Five yards, maybe six for Borganelli. Timeout. Timeout called. The Pillar Mustangs have one timeout remaining yeah. in this one. You got to use them. Down. Or if you don't use them, you lose them, Joseph. A first down will end the ball game. So Bow Academy needs the equivalent of five yards to end this one. Winning the game 20 to seven. It's really been all one way. Bow Academy's offense have dominated this. They have gotten over 300 yards in offensive yards. Look real good. They can brush up on a few things. Yeah, work on a little, this one little, to the little house. bit on that, on that kickoff uh, coverage team. Um, Minute 16 to go. Jones Calls for Brandon. He, he's switching the sides. Switching sides. There you go. Look, just look for a quick back. This might be a quarterback sneak. Pitch. Another pitch. Close to the first down, but he went out of bounds where the clock will stop. Didn't need to get out of bounds on that one, Todd. Yeah, and you know, Coach Martin's going over that with Aiden. You know, you got to stay in bounds there, keep that clock running. So they'll save their timeout. Third and one. So we have two plays to get one yard, and then that would be the old ball game. Even though I called it two minutes ago. <laughs> Here comes that big offensive line led by Anderson Short at the center position. Mitchell Jones in shotgun. This one will be going to Aiden Borganelli right up the gut. Did He's not get there. Short. And Pillar calls timeout. One minute and three seconds left. He didn't get the yard. That's the danger of taking that from the shotgun formation because you're snapping it three yards back from the line of scrimmage. So he got a four-yard run, but it wasn't enough for the first down. Well, I think everybody in the stadium knew who was getting the ball there, too. So, um. All right, here we go. 20 to 7. Bio Academy. If they get this first down. Sally, bar the door. Here comes the Pillar Mustangs. They're fired up. Look at that, look at that line across there, Todd. Six man front. Double covering the wide receiver. There's the pitch. Oh, oh, he may bust it. He's outside. He's still running. He's down the field. 20 yard gain. And that will. You are officially prohibited from quick calling any victories from here on out. Todd Jeffries has been threatening me all night, said, you're going to jinx us, you're going to jinx us. And in the end, they did get a big touchdown run. But Bio Academy has put a cap on this one. I guarantee this will go into a kneel down, and this ball game will be over. Hey, we love calling this game tonight. Todd Jeffries, Joey Mallett, Jeff Morganella. In tune tonight, Todd. You want to see that all year long. I could take the next seven games on a silver platter just like that. Well, uh, it is going to be interesting. You know, um, we aren't as deep, let's say, as last year. So we got to stay healthy. 
um, because we're run, a lot of these guys are running both ways. Um, we got Ryan Dawson, Mallet, and Aiden Borganelli. But we're going to have a, a road test next week at Heritage, which is probably won't be easy. Um, but a, a good performance tonight. I, I know the coaches don't like the late score, but a district win is a district win, and we'll take it. Well, next week, Todd, you're right. It's going to be a clash of the Titans, 2-0 and Heritage, taking on 1-1. One one. Is Heritage 2-0? 2-0. You just, you, just, you just assume they're doing it. You're probably right. Listen, to, we're going to take you out listening to the Big Blue Colts from the Bio Academy Cheerleaders. So we're going to have kind of a safety formation with Jeffries, Linkus, Borgadelli Deep. And that's the best feeling in football, the kneel down, and that's it. Hey, Todd, let's line them up, shake hands, tell them good ball game, and we will see you next year. Bow Academy have victorious tonight. Todd Jeffries and Joey Mallet, we have enjoyed this one thoroughly. What a performance by the offense. What a performance by Bow Academy overall. And we have really, really had a good time out here at Bio Academy Field this evening. The coaches are talking about what's going on with this B game. And, you know, I think uh, Pilla may be telling us, hey, we played our B game against y'all's seventh grade team. <laughs> so let's see if we keep playing. I don't know what Coach McClendon is, one of the coaches is saying on the field. I'm not sure. Well, they're jawing well, back and forth. You know, they may just be saying, look, we're going to not do two quarters or not two halves. We're going to do one half. Yeah. Good sportsmanship on the field there. Two coaches shake hands, said, hey, let's bring out the eighth grade. Let them get a little playing time. Todd. We played a good game against Heritage. I mean, Hartfield last week offensively had a few turnovers and everything. But really overall, as you, you and I pointed out, the offense looked good. They proved it tonight. They put up 20 points, had a, a fantastic time. Yeah. And uh, it's looking a bright future for the ninth grade this year, headed for that district championship. We could get a... Carried home was Sweet Home, Alabama. Y'all listen to this at home? I know you all know this one. 215s, Dallas. It's known at every bar in all the nation. Big wheels keep on turning. <laughs> Carried Joey home Ballas to see my friends. Playing some Skinner. Leonard Skinner, I want to tell you this. The great Ken Stabler, the snake that played for the Oakland Raiders for so many years, he was from Foley, Alabama. And on his deathbed, in the hospital, surrounded by family only, he said to his longtime girlfriend, turn up sweet home Alabama. And she did. To Sweet Home, Alabama. And when it came tied to about midways of the song, the great Ken Stabler went home to the promised land. He said, When the song ends, take me back to Foley. Put me six foot on. And that's what happened. All right, so are we doing 15 minutes? 20. 220. There you go. It took us home to Sweet Home, Alabama. The A game is over with. The ninth grade has become victorious at 20 to 7. And we are now starting an eighth grade uh, ball game as the ninth grade are headed to the locker room. <laughs> well, I don't think they're going to let them go to the locker room, but they will at least get to go. Cold shower and some hot pizza. And they'll be ready to roll in the next week. 
we go. Eighth grade game getting started. There's the pitch. He's not going anywhere. Yes, I can tell you, this is the same eighth grade game, eighth grade team that was in on those seventh graders. Nathan earlier, Jenkins. Yeah, I mean, it is. It's, it's, it's the same team we saw earlier. <laughs> Unfortunately for them, it's eight on eight now. Keep an eye on Parker George. He is a fire plug, buddy. Leighton Glorioso at the defensive end position. Number 52, Laster. Crawford still in that game. Vargas linebacker. And Joe Jenkins, boy, number 45. Let me see what he's going to do today. I think that's Rylan Richard. Brody Bowles, number nine, has entered the game. Joey, the bug activity has really increased outside. Chase Connell has come in to replace Lasta. Number 65, Todd. You'll have to give me a name on that. I can't call who that is. That's Reed Blocker. Reed Blocker. Sun Blocker. Third down. and Brody nine. Biles out here wide the corner. They may be looking for a pass. And there he is. He rolls out. And indeed, he's looking for a pass. He decides to run it. Trey Pruitt. Trey Pruitt on the tackle. He may get him just short of the first. No, they're calling it. First down. Move those sticks. Hey, let's give a big round of applause for the guys running the sticks over there. Yeah. They've had to run those sticks for four straight games. That is Dennis Barfield. And I can't see who the man is in the red shirt, but I believe that that may be Danny Barfield. Oh, really? The father-son combo. Father-son combo over on the sticks. On number six, Parker George. I like Joe Jenkins, boy, number 45. He's got a lot of pizzazz out there. Let's see if he can pin his ears back and make a play happen. Number 45, let's check him out on this play. Out comes Cooper Flowers, number 26. Now they're going to bring out. Wait a minute, it's a mix-up. 11 men are on the field, here comes a blitz. Man in motion, he gives it to him. Oh, not a good idea for number 21. Number 21. Ranger Cotton, he went toward the runner and went airborne. When he went airborne, he, he lost his feet and he got just blocked right out of the play. I advise to keep those feet on the ground. Stability. Trey Pruitt out wide, number 24. And here comes Bio Academy. They need this play, third down. And there's the play, it's an old cross buck. He falls forward, but he's a yard short of the first down. Todd, it has been a fantastic evening. I want to congratulate you and your son, William. He had a heck of a game at linebacker. He came to play. Many tackles tonight. Hard fought battle. Ron Dawson Mallett, your son, a great game. Defensively and also offensively. Catch a few balls. And how about that Borganelli kid? Oh, yeah. Over here at Technician, Jeff Borganelli, son. And let's not be remiss in saying number one, Bo Lankus had a well of a game. There he breaks one there. Oh, he's gone. Granger Cotton, last one in pursuit. <laughs> Trey Pruitt with a touchdown saving tackle there. Also, don't forget that tomorrow night, Todd, are we going to Washington or is Washington coming we to us? We are going to Washington. Well, the Washington Generals from Greenville, Mississippi, are going to be playing the Bayou Academy Colts in Greenville. 
So if you love football and you want to watch some real bio action, bio's coming off a win last week from Marshall where they had a great game, and they're going to be taking that A game down to Greenville to face the Washington School Generals. Washington School Generals are under new leadership. Coach Todd Lott has come back into the picture. And they are ready to take on the Colts. Big rivalry over the years. The Colts looked real, real good last weekend. They hope to carry that momentum into this week. And we'll see what happens. My goodness, right up the middle. Big carry, big game. If you have any comments on the game, you can text them in <laughs> to Jeff Morganelli. <laughs> we'll read them. <laughs> any questions or comments, he'll be happy to receive. Hopefully they're all in the positive direction. <laughs> So Pillow's had a you know pretty lengthy drive here, Jesse. They're running the ball kind of down our throats a little Number bit. Number seven. I heard some leather pop there, but that's going to go to the end zone. Touchdown, Pillow Academy. So um, it's going to be good to see this B team. I think Rylan Richard's back. I know William Jeffries is happy about that because he does not want to go out there right now. After good that call. Game. I had forgot Rylan Richard has been out with the injury. Very good looking kid. Got a good arm on him. Very smart quarterback. He will be leading the Colts on this next drive to try to get back in this one. Right now, the defense is trying to keep him out of the end zone and keep it a six point ball game. Quarterback under center. He's going to hand it to number 10 up the middle. There it is. Good tackle. Oh, no. he kept the ball. And who's got him? But number 46, Landon Vargas. Landon Vargas. Up. We got a penalty in the backfield. No, it's just a towel. They came off the running back. That was a big play for the Colts if they're going to try to pull out a victory for the eighth grade. Six nothing down. Now we need a long drive, Todd. Try to stick this one in the end zone. And we can call Sally Ball the door. Bring in the horses. Bring in the hay. <laughs> it's all over but the crying. It's really turn out the lights. The party's over. I love what that. I love it. Don Meredith used to say. I like Howard Cosell because he would say, Howard had a great memory and, and a big vocabulary. So he would say, you know, 1969, it was a Thursday afternoon at 5.15 in the evening when he set up for the field goal <laughs> for the game winner. And if you would check your sports almanac, you would find out that old Howard Cosell was absolutely correct. A late sub coming in. Slot formation. Rylan Richard, his first snap in a while. He hands it off, and we Braden got a hole. Braden Davis is marching down the field as he takes a shoulder from number one. Good run. Second down and three. Yes, good run by number 23. And you know, Braden, Braden Davis, Davis. Uh, does play on the A-team offense and defense at times, but this is a, just an opportunity to get him some reps. You know, he had more reps against Hartfield, but, you know, this is an opportunity to get him some reps, keep him in his rhythm. Um, well, that was a good hard run. And here comes Rylan Rashad once again. He's in a shotgun formation. Two wide receivers out wide to the right. A man in motion is Cooper Flowers. He fakes the ball, hands it back to Ray Braden. Right, He's got, got another room. room. He delivered. keeps his head down, and he will go over the 45-yard line. First down. Good run by Braden. I know he took a pretty big lick there at the end, but that was a good hard run.
Rylan Richard looking again. This time, two wide receivers to the left. Look for Flowers to go in motion once again. And there he is. He's going to give it to him this time. He's looking for a hole. He's got the outside. One man to beat. Oh, a little stutter step. Oh, and he got... He got clothesline. He got that horse collared, I would say. Like, uh, almost like a lariat you would see in professional wrestling. Again, if you could keep your phone on silent, Joseph, that would be helpful. <laughs> I tell you what, that was a good run by number 26, Cooper Flowers. Not bad at all. And they're going to give Bio the first down. Here it comes. We're got to get the other scores of the evening. Parker George, George, watch this move. Watch oh, this one. Oh, there's the ball oh. out. Oh. Parker George, he's got a lot of moves, buddy. He moved to the right and left. This one was hit right on Somebody the helmet. Somebody must have, the yeah. ball out. That's bad luck for the Bio Academy Colts because they were on a drive. That was one of those where the helmet went right into the ball. Joe Jenkins' boy, Nathan Jenkins, back in the ball game. Granger Cotton taking the signal from the sideline. Eight minutes to go in this half. Twelve men on the field. For Bio? Yes, too many men out there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Got twelve, coach. <laughs> and off comes number 54 for the Bio Academy Colts. And another one comes off we for had the Bio 13. Academy Colts. It was 13, huh? One, two. Maybe we're now playing with 10. I don't know. No, it's 11. We had 13. You're right. Good math. Tackle. Todd, I'm going to see if I can get some of these other scores. No. Six to nothing. Where are you going? I, I've got a feeling you're going to go and not come back. I've seen that happen before. Your son is off the field. We got a pitch, pitch. to the right. Number six, Parker George. Oh, who is that? Parker George Number and seven. Rylan Richard bringing the leather. Rylan Richard. Todd, that was a great hit by number seven. He came up and cleaned up after Parker George had made the stop. He you know, put a lick on the Pillar Mustang. And, you know, th these are the teams you're going to see next year play one another for the most part. Um, so it's a little bit of a preview to next year's tilt. Changing the play at the line of scrimmage. 22 is going to get the football. It's a pitch to 20. 20. Look at that. Oh, good hard run by our number 84, I want to say. Don't have him on our play sheet. 84. Um, but he strung out the play, did a good job. Did a great job. Or is that 24? Trey Pruitt. Yeah, Trey Pruitt, okay. Well, Trey's got some speed, and he, he's not afraid to, to hit somebody, so. Brody Biles in the ball game over here at corner number nine. Look at old Brody now. Brody Biles pick a fleet of foot. 
I can remember back in the fifth and the sixth grade, Brody Biles was running up and down the field for touchdowns after touchdown. Brody's got the wide receiver out to the left. Let's all eyes on Brody Biles on this play. Let's see what happens. There's the fake. Roland Richard breaks it all up. Big sack, 10 yard loss on the play as the Good clock ticks down. He was not fooled, was he, Todd? No, he wasn't. Cooper Flowers deep at safety number 26. Boy, he's looking good. Got the arm sleeve, got the leg sleeve. He's got the cool mouthpiece. He's got the hands, he's got the towel. He's got the gloves. He's got it all. That's the coolest cat on the field. I think I'm gonna put me an order in from Zaxby's. <laughs> Todd Jeffries has held me hostage here. Stomach he tried crawling. to pull the, let me go check on some stores. I'm trying to get, I'm trying We've to heard get that one before. Chicken strip from Zaxby's. <laughs> He's holding me into the last second. Three minutes and 50 seconds. We got a whole another half, apparently, Jesse. <laughs> if you need to go, if... No, if your better half blue. is wanting, but I, you know, I, your son's I, on the sidelines. So he ain't I, going anymore. I am true blue. I'm going to stay to the final curtain closes. Three minutes and 30 seconds left in this one. Time out on the field. Parker George had a great run. They hit the ball and it came out. He wants that one back. He's chomping at the bits to get that ball back. West Virginia, 17, number 17, Pitt, 17. Oh. West Virginia and Pitt are not a College football started tonight. West Virginia and Pittsburgh are all knotted up like two dogs, 17 to 17. Uh-oh. Here comes Brody. Fourth and the, the guys have some kind of bet on the sideline. Watch this. There he is. Oh, he makes the catch. Good catch. Oh, and, and great the, catch. The player hits the top of his helmet, which is a kind of a uh, Number one for Pilla, he had the height advantage. Drag. That was against Trey Pruitt for the Bio Academy Colts. That's going to wind up to be a first down. That may end all hopes of tying this one back up. As the clock is at the two-minute warning and uh, counting. Eye back formation. Here he comes. He gives it. It's right up the middle to the tailback. Number 57, William uh, Garrett on the stop. Good play for William Garrett, number 57 on that play. He busted through the line of scrimmage and made a good clean hit on the tailback. Down he went in the arms of number 57, William Garrett. Same formation all night long. They're going to run it all night long, right up the gut. Good run. Seven-yard gain. Third down and five. Todd, you've let your nachos go cold. Those are not mine, Joseph. Those are Borganelli's. <laughs> Parker George is having a, a multi, multiple tackle day. Clock winding down, 45 seconds left, third down. I still say Brody Biles on the island out here. They're going to try to go the other way. Here comes Brody up on the tackle. Good job. Vargas. Granger and Cotton, number 21. Brody Balls, number nine and 46. Landon. Vargas.
Hope that you've had a great time out here at Bow Academy tonight. See it's always fun when you're on the winning side. Some of the... Um, you got to stack the bus with overachievers. Bomb as the horn blows. Come on, Wilder. Cooper. Come hey, on, Cooper. They, they ran the Come play. on, Cooper. Can he go? He can go. Oh. Come on, Cooper. <laughs> Number 26, Cooper Flowers. Flowers into the end zone. It's a terrible game. Six to six. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? We're going for a one, but hold. They will pick that up. <laughs> That's two, two flags. You've got to pick it up, Mr. Ref. Wave it off. Pick it up. Put it back in your pocket. You're not going to leave the field with that tonight. An incredible run by number 26, Koopa. Let's Flowers. see what he does with these flags. He's picking them up. And let's see if he waves it. No, he's not waving them. May have had a block in the back. What would you like to see him do with him? I'd love to see him wave the flag, but I just don't know if, if there's a They're penalty. talking. Head, the head referee has come out in the white. If there's hat. a penalty, they need to call it a penalty. If not, wait. Whoa, the intensity is rising here at Bowfield. Field. Six to nothing ball game, picked off, taken back to the house, all depending on the old zebra. <laughs> oh! It's a backbreaker for the Bio Academy Colts. It looks like a 10-yard penalty. That is a 60-yard penalty. First down, Bio Academy. Well, exciting nonetheless. Cooper Flowers made the turn. He ran the ball all the way back. He did all he could. Do. Yeah. It's oh. just like on the night shoe. Just do it. <laughs> and off comes the offense. The coaches are saying, calm down, calm down. Just just keep it running. Let's, let's get in the second half. Zero, zero, zero. <laughs> Goodness gracious, alive. Bio Academy. Did they have the angle or what? They're going to have to have Cooper Flowers out of the game to get a some oxygen. He needs it. Hey. So it's an un untimed down for Bio. It's an untimed down. One play all day, baby. There's the bomb. Uh-oh. Are we going to have another pick six? Rylan Rashard. Oh! <laughs> Makes a good hit. Hold on, hold everything. The Zebras are at midfield, they're talking it over once again. I don't know, they've had an agreement before the game. About to start the second half. Six nothing. Pilla in the B game. <laughs> the clock is ticking on this running quarter. It's been a long day here, by We started with Pee Wee football. Seventh Pee Wee A and B, seventh grade. 
I wonder, Joey, are we going to start playing these JVB games after the A game? You know, we used to not do that. But Brayden, Brayden Davis, Davis on a breakaway. Good hard run by Brayden. First down by Academy on a run by Braden Davis, number 23. There's a, and there's Brody Miles. There Put on Brody. the Jets, Brody. Put on the Jets. Whoa. Pass number nine, Brody Miles for a jet, and he brought a helicopter. Well, he, he stopped all of a sudden, and they caught up with him. He cut up. He's helicopter down by the corner, number 14, for the Mustangs. He still picked up five yards, nonetheless. Good run for number nine, uh, Brody Biles. Number 45, uh, Joe Jenkins, boy, Nathan Jenkins in the ball game. No, 20 to seven. As the H back. With Davis again. Hard Good run. run. Good low center of gravity, and he'll go for another first down. First down, uh, Bayou Colts. He kept those feet churning. Number 23, Braden Davis grinds it out for a first down. Brody Biles in the slot position. All eyes on Brody. Fakes it to him. Gives it to Parker George. He fumbled earlier. Good hard piece of working there, running there, and he's down about three yards short of the first. Good job so far. Uh, bye bye. Trying to Trey Pruitt in the ball game. Granger Cotton coming off the field. Number 21. Lucky 21. Brody Biles in position. Your quarterback under center, number seven, Ryland Richard. I might have had a false start there. I don't know if he... Look out! Look out! Boom! One, two, three, four, five, six pillow Mustangs on Parker George to bring him down. What a tough cookie. Good run. Yeah, Parker George reminds me of old Joe Washington from the old Indianapolis Colts. Back when they had Burt Jones quarterback. Small in size, but tough as they come. Never could get a hold of that handoff. Down he went. Number 23, Baden Davis goes into the turf. A loss of three on the plate. Well, one good positive out of it, Todd, the fans have kind of cleared out and the traffic is going to be thin by the time we get ready to leave. <laughs> right, I've got a long walk So to we'll my probably car. get an easy escort out to Highway Number 8 in Cleveland, Mississippi. 6-0 ball game. The Colts having a pick six return called back. 14 and a half minutes He's trying to, to tie this up. Quarter. Hand off to Braden Davis. Good hard run. Thirteen minutes left in this one. 
you know, does a lot of work around here, but doesn't get recognized as often as they should. Who? There's a old Dallas Bright. Absolutely. He does You've it seen all. Him all Bio Academy. I've seen him cooking hamburgers. I've seen him working the audio. I've seen him doing the PA system. I've seen him do everything there is to do for the Colts. That is true blue Colt pride. He's an old Bio Academy Colt himself, and he's still right here with you every time the door opens. Thirteen minutes to go. Richard and at quarterback. George in. Look for Parker George. Is this fourth down? Richard's going to run. He's going to. 58 from the Pillow Mustang. Sniff that one out. He did sniff it out. That play went nowhere. Well, Todd, more on that Washington school game tomorrow night. You say we are taking the bus over to Washington school. That promises to be a good showdown between Bio and Washington. It's Bio Academy is desperately needing a, to add to that win they got last Friday night against Marshall. And also, Bio, I mean, uh, Washington school is coming off a victory themselves. So they're both, the teams are one and one, and that could be a turn of the tide for the Washington State Generals always, or the Bio Academy I, I know we've, we've probably won some of the more recent games against Washington, so they're looking for, to, for some payback. So tomorrow night will be an emotional game. Uh, again, a lot of these young men grew, have grown up together. Um, so for everybody that can make it out, over to Greenville, please do so. I think it'll be a fun road trip. Weather's supposed to be nice. And of course, the football team appreciates your support. Eleven uh, minutes yeah, left in this one. Look, Coach Martin, Coach McClendon, they're not quitting coaching. They're continuing to coach these young men up. Um, head of school, Kurt McCain's out there to lend his support as well so we appreciate all of their efforts Bow Academy wants that ball back just one more time give them one more shot on that offensive side of the ball who's the big kids up front there Todd number 53 I don't think we've called his name tonight is that, it, I don't think that's Beck Gaines Paletti. No, that's not him. Busted play. Fumble. Fourth down. I believe the Mustangs are going to punt. And they, Bio Academy, is going to in get these, their wish. Uh, in these B games. I think they are punting, though. They're going to punt, Dallas. They're going to do the punt, I think. It was 35 yarder. <laughs> Nine minutes to go here. Running clock. Well, the Bio Academy are excited to get this ball back once again as the clock ticks down. Richard out there. Cooper Flowers back in the game. He's off the oxygen. <laughs> Crawford Laster is ready to go. Braden Davis at running back. 
squeaked out a yard on that one. It was a long run, Todd, yeah. but it was north and south. He was headed south, he was, yeah, he was, and he got he a yard. He was too. He needed to head north and south. Eight minutes and 20 seconds. You see the young men swatting the bugs that are growing in number. <laughs> We're somewhat insulated from that where we are, Joseph, thankfully. Trips to the left. Bio Academy is looking to pass on this one. Who has the hands? Rylan Richard's going, uh-oh. Fumbled snap. Lucky to get back on it. Fall on it. Oh, oh, oh. Off comes the wheels on that one. Gonna be a loss on the play. We haven't recognized that we have had no errors with our mics tonight. That's right. We got started on time. The mics are nice and smooth. Film is doing great. We have to give uh, Jeff Boynetti some props for that. Absolutely. Here's the pass. He's got to run it. He pulls it down, decides to run it. Fourth down and 10. Have to go for it here. Number five is coming in with the play. Fourth and ten, Ty. This is a ball game. Let's see what we can do here. Parker George. It's going to be hard to get the ball back if we don't pick up the first down. Whoa, bad snap. Bouchard. Nothing he could do was over his head. That's going to be a turn. A loss down. of 22 on the play. Fifty-four is not listed on our roster. We have it's not wrong, it's all right, Jeffries. <laughs> in the booth tonight. We're going to sleep well tonight, Joseph. We've been on our feet up here. End up off up the middle. Well, the eighth graders are having a ball. They don't get much playing action, but tonight they've got two full quarters under their belt. And it's been an exciting ball game. Still six to nothing, Pilla, under five minutes to go. Another run to the right. He's got some room, too. Good tackle by First Parker. down, number Parker 45, George. Jenkins in on the play. Hey, uh, you okay? You all right? Four minutes and ten. As Todd Jeffries alluded to earlier, you're looking at a preview from next year's ball game. This will be your ninth grade ball game next year. So very important one. Run up the middle. Good play by that William Garrett. No. 
54. We don't know who that is. Well, they gave, they accredited it to William Garrett. But I think it was 54. That may be uh, Say Seha. I think he was. He came back to the team. Uh, Seha. Yeah. Is on the team number I think, fifty-four. I think that's then C.E.J. -E made some great plays tonight. The pitch. Oh, Seha! He upends number twenty-two. The, can we call him the Seha kid. Sounds Not good. Hey, but the Seha kid. The Seha kid. <laughs> oh, Seha. We just mentioned his name, and he breaks through the line of scrimmage and upends the running back. It's going to be third down and goal to goal with only two minutes and 50 seconds. This has got to be a stand-up defense for Bio Academy this time. Cannot allow a touchdown here because they're going to use both plays to try to score. I think they're just trying to create some space in the middle. They're spreading the field wide, but look for that middle or a boot. Here it comes. Motion. They're probably letting some false starts go at this point. There was about five of them on that play. Good play by the Bow defense. They did. Bow needs a timeout here. I don't know if we have any during the running clock, but it's two minutes. Yeah, uh, our clock operator left, so they want us to stop it. Fourth down. Of course, Phil is not in any hurry with this running clock. Coach McClendon shakes his head. Calling for his troops on the sideline for some reason. Here comes the ball game. Pass, sack, sack in the backfield, number six. All right. Call it again. So, Parker, Parker George. George. So, Bajo's going to get the ball. They better hurry out onto the field because it's one minute and counting. Come on. Get it changed over quickly. Under 50 seconds and counting. McLeod Norwood. Calling them over. Call the play. 35 seconds and counting. Look for Brody Biles, the speedster. Five wide receivers set. There's the snap. Looking deep. He fires it over. And it was to Brody Biles. In and out of the hands of old Brody Biles. Tied, if he had caught it, he was covered like a blanket. The Pilla Mustangs would have made the tackle. Biles going to have to hustle to get this. Play. Last play of the game. Five, four, three, two. There you go, you go. There's the snap. How do you cut this off? It's a, it's a, there's a, oh, incomplete. And that'll do it. Pillow of Todd DT's Jeffries, Joey Mallet, we're saying good night to you from Bible Academy. Todd, we will see you next week at Heritage for the big game. Appreciate it. Enjoyed it. Big win for the JV Colts tonight. Big win for the Bible Academy two-time <laughs> district champions. Bible Academy Colts. We'll see you next time.